Join us for another edition of Filipinas Update on Film TV Network. I'm Esmeralda Padilla Gold coming to you from our vibrant headquarters in Las Vegas, the bustling nerve center of Film TV Network. With Ed Ablas as your guide, we'll join you to the Philippines to bring you the freshest updates. Get ready for in depth reports that capture the essence of unfolding stories across the Philippines. Good evening, I'm Ed Abalas and this is the Filipinas Update. Bringing you the latest news from the Philippines. Tonight's news, President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. should suspend the face-out of jeepneys under the Philippine government's Public Utility Vehicle Modernization Program. Former Senator Antonio Trillanes IV on his social media post called on the President to consider humanitarian reasons not only for drivers and operators who cannot pay the monthly amortization of the modern jeepneys but also for the millions of commuters who will find it difficult to commute because of the limited mass transportation. Trilliani said it will also be hard for commuters to bear the more expensive fare rates of the former senator said the only feasible way modernization can push through is by the government subsidizing at least 50% of the cost of modern jeepneys. In this way, it will not burden operators and commuters. He added, if this cannot be done, there is no choice but to implement a slow phase-out. Transport groups such as Pagkaka Isa ng Samahang Chuper, Operator Nationwide, and Manibela welcomed the April 30 deadline for consolidations of PUB's true protests. Meanwhile, Manibela National President Marvel Bueno agrees with Trillian's proposal. Adding it to a civilian mission to proceed despite China's aggression in West Philippine Sea. Multi-sectoral group Adding it to a coalition to continue with their 100-boat civilian mission to the West Philippine Sea on May 15 amidst China's recent water cannon attacks in Scarborough Shoal. Aten Ito co-convener and Akbayan Party President Rafaela David said the group is not intimidated by China's latest act of violence and harassment, emphasizing that China is not getting their desired results through their water cannon attacks. Instead, they only nourish Filipino resolve in the West Philippine Sea. The mission aims to conduct a peace and solidarity regatta and install a markers or boys in Scarborough Shoal or Bajo de Masinloc. There will be two main civilian boats escorted by 100 small fishing vessels that will participate in the mission and will set sail from Zanbales. The group also invited international observers to join the mission and document the situation in the West Philippine Sea. Atenito also plans to deliver essential supplies like fuel to Filipino fishermen in the area while Navy spokesperson for the West Philippine Sea Commodore Roy Vincent Trinidad said that the military supports and will help the civilian missions through the monitoring of its safety. We are the Philippines. We are land and sea. We are 7,107 islands. We are island people in a vast archipelago divided by the last ice age. one nation, yet a diverse people. We think in different ways, we speak in many voices, we dream in many worlds. We live many lives, all alluring, for we are naturally beautiful. We are tropical, we are warm, of heart, of greeting, of climate. We are mountainous, we are volcanic, we have volcanoes within volcanoes, and the most perfect cone. We are wet all around, we are wet underground, and when the typhoons blow, we are wet all over. 
Never far from a waterfall. Never distant from a beach. Everywhere our soothing waters beckon. We are lush. We are fertile. We are prolific, multifarious, biologically diverse. Ten times more, so they say, than the Galapagos itself. We have the smallest primate, the smallest carabao, the smallest fish. We have the largest fruit, the largest flower, the largest raptor, the majestic Philippine eagle, and other rare finds, the dugong, the cloud rat, grass owls, civet cats that deliver a wild flavored coffee, hundreds of species of birds and insects, thousands of species of fish and shells. And there, gleaming in the center of the Sulu Sea, the Tubataha Reef, a world heritage site only one of many others in these sun-kissed islands. And here we are, its people, the Filipinos, who love to eat, who love to drink, who love to do nothing, who love to be ourselves. We sing a lot, we dance a lot. We talk a lot. We love a lot. We love a good laugh. And we do laugh a good lot. We laugh at each other. We laugh at ourselves. We celebrate life with raised glass, on bended knee, with innocence, with passion, with grace. We are 7,107 islands. Incredible, irresistible, unforgettable. We are the Philippines. Former President Rodrigo Duterte belittles ICC arrest warrant. Former President Rodrigo Duterte doesn't worry about the idea of being ordered arrested this year by the International Criminal Court. Believing that any arrest warrants the United Nations back ICC will issue is considered worthless and useless. This was confirmed by former Duterte administration officials in separate text messages. Former Executive Secretary Salvador Medial Dia, Presidential Spokesperson Harry Roque, and Chief Presidential Counsel Salvador Panelo said that reports of the impending issuance of arrest warrant by the ICC should not be taken seriously because the current President Marcus himself already said his administrations will not support ICC's intrusion in our judicial system. However, Roque expressed misgivings after receiving credible information that the Marcus administration did not stop ICC investigators from entering the country and conducting their investigation on the former administration's war on drugs program. He said he found it disturbing that the administration has also refused to put in writing its commitment not to cooperate with the ICC. Philippine Economic Zone opens to all investors. Yep, you heard it right. The Philippine Economic Zones are ready to boost up business and attract more investors in the country. This is the statement of President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. who said that this is the designated development sites are open to all foreign investors. President stressed 
in an interview with the foreign media that business and trade opportunities are available in the economic zones for investors to grab where they can enjoy special incentives like special tax breaks, particularly in tariff, importation, and sales tax. Marcus said that EcoZones offer a common tax code and incentive scheme so the locator companies do not have to deal with multiple local government units. Economic zones where special investment arrangements are offered include the Clark Report and Special Economic Zone in Pampanga and the new Clark City and Tarlac. Philippine debt decreases by $252 billion in March 2024. The Bureau of Treasury reported that Philippine sovereign debt declined in March after the redemption of the domestic government securities in the third month. The Philippines' total outstanding debt as of the end of March was $14.93 trillion, reflecting a $252.98 billion or a 1.67 decline from the total $15.178 trillion as of the end of February. However, the amount of 7.71 higher compared to 13.856 trillion total outstanding debt accumulated in the same month of last year. The majority or 68.86% or 10.277 trillion of the 14.93 total debt was domestic debt, marking a 2.83 fall from the 10.576 trillion of the previous month. Board of the Treasury explained the decline resulted from the $299.45 billion net redemption of government securities offsetting the $0.24 billion effect of the peso depreciation on the foreign currency domestic debt. The Philippine pesos closed on March 27, 2024, the last trading day of the month, at 56.24 per 1 US dollar as compared to 56.12 per 1 US dollar this February 29, 2024. Don't waste your money on CBD. Now, hold on. Don't turn the video off. If you're already taking CBD, good for you. You're on a good path, but there is a much better way. If you're thinking, should I try CBD? Let me answer a couple of questions that might help you make the decision to even try a CBD product. First of all, let's answer the question, what is CBD and where does it come from? CBD is cannabidiol. It's called a cannabinoid and it's found naturally in many different plants. In fact, as you see here in the cannabicay family, there's hops, uh, sandalwood, hackberry, of course, hemp, even marijuana, but we're not talking here about marijuana. In fact, we're going to be talking about hemp. As I started to mention, CBD can be found in hemp in rather high levels, as a matter of fact. But here's the problem. CBD is not the only cannabinoid you can find in hemp. Hemp contains over a hundred different cannabinoids. In fact, in the cannabicae family, hemp contains the highest level of cannabinoids of any plant, which is why it's the most popular source for CBD. But as I mentioned, CBD is only one of the cannabinoids that you can find in hemp. Hemp contains high levels also of CBC, CBG and CBN. So why would we want CBC, CBD, CBG, and CBN? Well, as we look at the benefits here from CBD alone, you can see these benefits are, are great. I mean, who wouldn't want these benefits, right? But let's look at the benefits you can get from CBC. You see, they compound with CBD and offer yet even more. But then let's also now look at CBG. CBG has even more benefits. So naturally, anybody looking for the maximum benefit you can derive from hemp would want CBC, CBG, and CBD. But don't stop there. CBN also has fantastic benefits. So if you're looking for a great hemp product and you're contemplating trying a CBD product, don't just buy CBD, and please, don't buy that cheap gas station grocery store stuff. It's just that cheap, and it won't benefit you at all. But if you can get a high-grade, medical-grade, in fact, hemp product that contains 
CBC, CBD, CBG, and CBN, now you are unleashing the full power of your body that can only happen if you have all four of these cannabinoids in your body. If you're taking CBD, you're getting roughly one-fourth of the benefit that hemp can give you. Well, fourth is better than nothing, I suppose, but when you want 100% of all the benefits that hemp can give you, that is what happens if you take CBD with CBC, CBG, and CBN. So now you're probably asking, well, where on earth do I get all four of those? The problem now is solved. CBX4 contains high levels, not trace levels, and this is very important, contains high levels of all four of these cannabinoids, which means every benefit we listed up until now is available to you naturally in CBX4 and only in CBX4. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. welcomes the expansion plans of an Indian firm who expressed its interest to establish a port of project in Bataan province. Indian-based company Adani Ports and Special Economic Zones Limited, the largest port operator in India, is planning to develop a 25-meter deep port that can accommodate Panamax vessel in the country. As per Abses Limited, Managing Director Karan Adani, who just had a courtesy call with the President Recently, the firm is also planning to invest in the country's ports, airports, power, and defense sectors. Absis Limited is confident that Philippine government can provide the stability in regulations and environment that their company requires in their operations. President Marcos, on the other hand, said Absis expansion plans in the Philippines should focus on ports handling agriculture products to enable the Philippines eventually compete globally. Department of Social Welfare Development, food stamp program to 300,000 Filipinos in the Philippines moved to address hunger. After receiving the report by the social weather stations about the increasing rate of involuntary hunger, the Department of Social Welfare and Development reiterated the purpose of Walang Gutom 2027, food stamp program that aims to address the food insecurity and hunger faced by the Filipinos. The DSWD said they will prioritize addressing the food insecurity of the 2% of the respondents of the SWS survey held last March 21 to 25. The survey showed that Filipino families who experience involuntary hunger or not having anything to eat increased 14.2%. Out of the 14.2% families who experience hunger, 12.2% had moderate hunger while the 2% remaining suffered from the severe hunger. Now it's time for the good news. Three Filipinos nominated in 2024 James Beard's Award. Three Filipinos are once again nominated in the what is widely considered as Oscars of the culinary world, the James Beard Awards. The Filipino-American Abby Balingit is among the contenders for the James Beard Foundation Book Award under the Baking and Desserts category for her cookbook, Mayumo Philippine American Desserts Remix. While content creator Abby Marquez, also known as the Lumpia Queen, is nominated for the James Beard Foundation Broadcast Media Award under the Social Media Account category, the award covers the non-fiction works in English covering food and beverage topics appearing widely for the first time in the United States. The Filipino media company, FEATR, is also included in the roster of nominees for the Broadcast Media Award. Categories for their three projects, two under Visual Media Long Form and one under DocuSeries Visual Media. The founder of FEATR, Erwan Husap, won in the 2023 James Beard Awards under the social media category. We use headphones as a part of our everyday lives. Whether we're at work, 
getting exercise, meditating, in transit, studying, practicing, or relaxing. Hi, I'm Ryan Sway, the founder of Aircom. I would like to introduce the world's first wireless airflow audio earbuds. As a festival and a concert junkie, I really enjoy the live experience of being there and feeling the music. When we started developing Airflow, our goal was to reproduce that live experience using earbuds. The problem with traditional headphones is that the speakers are located inside of the earpiece, literally giving you centimeters before the audio hits your eardrum. What Aircom is doing, they're the first company to actually address the fact that there needs to be a space involved associated with having the sound waves expand fully. The difference between traditional headphones and Aircom audio is that the air tube gives you eight times more space, allowing the sound waves to fully develop before they actually hit your eardrums. And this gives it a much more live, natural sound, just like in a recording studio. Real nice that someone actually addressed the physics associated with how sound comes out. The challenge we had was to create an earbud with enough airspace for the sound to fully develop and breathe. Unfortunately, traditional earbuds are about the size of a jelly bean, and there's just not enough airspace. However, that changed when we developed Airflow Audio. Airflow uses an air tube to deliver six to eight times more airspace than traditional earbuds. The end result is a true live listening experience, just like you're at a festival or a concert. We also added magnets to the back of the earpieces, so you can wear it around your neck when you're not using it. Being that the drivers are eight inches from the earpiece, the magnets do not affect the integrity of the sound at all. The orange line represents the frequency transmitting through the wire to the speaker, which then converts to the blue sound wave that develops more as it travels up the air tube, producing a balanced, full body and live listening experience. Another really cool feature is that these earbuds are sweat proof and water resistant because they're coated with a super hydrophobic nanotechnology. So now you can be on a skateboard or riding a motorcycle and listen to music as if you were watching a live show or actually in a recording studio. We're coming to you for help in bringing these unparalleled earbuds to market. There's a new work hours that will take effect in Metro Manila. The Metro Manila Development Authority said the new working hours for government employees in the National Capital Region will begin on Thursday or May 2. From the original 8 o'clock a.m. to 5 p.m., the new working hours of 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. will be implemented to lessen the traffic congestion in the Metro Manila. MMDA Acting Chairman Romando Artes attributed the worsening traffic conditions in the Metro Manila to increase the use of vehicles after the COVID-19 pandemic and ongoing infrastructure constructions that require temporary closure of a certain roads. Starting May 2, the MMDA will able to provide services earlier from 7 in the morning. The MMDA head office located on the Pulia Vargas Avenue corner Mulavi Street and Barangay Ugang Pasig City is open to public. The MMDA said in a statement adding some of its staff would be allowed to stay until 5 p.m. to finish transactions. Filipino Masons, to focus on adapting to a changing world. Masons of the Most Worshipful Grand Lodge of Free and Accepted Masons of the Philippines had a successful assembly during the 107th Annual Communication held in Clark, Pampanga from April 25 to 27. More than 5,300 delegates attended, including international representatives from different grand jurisdictions with amity to their Philippine counterpart. The event culminated on the third day with Most Worshipful Ariel T. Kayanan installed as the 106th Grand Master Mason in the Philippine jurisdiction. Congratulations, Most Worshipful Ariel Kayanan. And that was our news for this week. For more news and updates, follow us on our social media platforms. I'm Ed Abalos, and this is the Filipinas Update on Philam TV. Thank you and have a great weekend.
Medical Equipment provides top-notch quality medical supply equipment. Whether to rent or buy, Pure Medical Equipment and Supplies has it all. Pure Medical Equipment is committed to serve and give back to Southern Nevada. We deliver medical supplies and rentals to your door. As we wrap up another engaging episode of Filipinos Update, I extend my gratitude for your continued support. With Ed Abelos reporting from Manila, Philippines, we have explored reviewing stories and updates, deepening our connection to our heritage and community. I'm Esmeralda Pedro Gold from Las Vegas, Nevada, encouraging you to stay connected, stay inspired, and uphold our Filipino heritage with pride, no matter where you are in the world. Thank you for being a part of our Film TV Network family. Maraming salamat po and mabuhay.